Shall we see a show of hands of anyone who's married or ever been married in this church? Anyone married or ever been married in this church? Oh, you can admit it. <laughs> Remember those early days of your relationship? Because we all know that relationships mature over time. Amen. We're not the same people today as a couple as we were when we first met. Amen. We all grow and we mature in our relationship. But think back to those early days when we're all googly-eyed. There's the story of the young newlyweds who were having breakfast one day. And he looked at her and he said, Honey, one day we're going to be rich. One day we're going to be rich. And she looked at him, and having the wisdom that she had, she said, what, babe? We're already rich. Maybe one day, maybe we'll have money. There's a difference between being rich and having money, amen? amen. And having money, doesn't make you rich. Amen? Amen. And that's what today's readings are all about. Because we could have all the things in the world, if you could have all the things in the world, that doesn't make you rich, necessarily. Because those things, as our first reading suggests, disappear. Zach, can you help me with this one? In the book of Proverbs, in the Bible, the book of Proverbs says that the things of this world, the things of this world are like what? They're like sand. Can you stand up on this step right here? We're going to fill both your hands with sand, if that's okay. And tell us how, e hold, hold, hold on tight to the sand. Hold on tight. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Grab it. Fill, fill them up, fill them up, okay? Hold on to that sand. That everything of this world is like what? It's like sand. It just slips through our fingers. Doing okay so far? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Have you heard of a guy called Alexander the Great? He conquered the ancient world. Alexander the Great said, When I'm buried, I want you to do one thing in my funeral procession. And I know this sounds weird. But I want you, when you carry me in the funeral procession, to stick my hands outside the casket. Where is this going? <laughs> he said, when I'm buried and when you march me through the city, put my hands outside the casket so that people can see what I'm taking with me. And what am I taking with me? Yeah, I conquered the world. They called me Alexander the Great. And yet, when I leave this world, what's going to be in my hands? Nothing. Have you ever seen a hearse pulling a U-Haul trailer? <laughs> Think about it. Have you ever seen a hearse pulling a U-Haul trailer? No, because when a person checks out of this world, what are they taking with them? Nothing. How is it holding sand? <laughs> That's how the things of this world are, sisters and brothers. Thank you, Zach. That's how the things of this world are. It's as difficult to hold in our hands, ultimately, as sand. They slide through our fingers. Vanity of vanities, says Kohalath. We work our entire lives, says Kohalath, gathering up things, saying that they're ours. And after we die, are they still ours? They go to other people, says Kohalath, who didn't even work for them. Think about that. They go to other people who didn't even work for them. In today's gospel, we have the story of the rich fool. Have we all heard that story before? Of the man who had all these things and said, oh, I can live comfortably now the rest of my life. And how long did his life last after that? That night? It was over. Brothers and sisters, may we pray for the wisdom 
to number our days aright. Did you hear that in today's response to song? Lord, help us to number our days aright. Are you able to number your days? Do you know how many days you have left? Because if not, it's probably important for us to be living those days in the right way now. Have we all heard of a prayer, a good Catholic prayer called the Hail Mary? Raise your hand if you've heard the Hail Mary before. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. We've heard that before. That prayer talks to us about the two most important moments in life. And what are the two most important moments of life? Pray for us sinners when? Yeah. Now. And when? Yeah. Now of our death. Those are the two most important moments of our life. Think about it. Why? Because at the hour of our death, that's it. That's the final moment. Any decision you're going to make, you need to make it before then. And if you don't know how many days you have left between now and then, then I've got news for you. The only moment that you can be sure of is pray for us when? Now. This is the only moment you can be sure of. None of us knows when we come back to Mass next Sunday, if all of us are still going to be here. Amen? None of us knows what the Lord has in store for us, which is why it's important for us to number our days aright now. And to think about what's really important now. And to think about what really makes a person rich now. Because it's not the things of this world. Today's second reading is from the letter to the Colossians. And what does the letter of the Colossians say? Seek the things of this world? No. Seek the things where? Above. Where Christ is seated at God's right hand. Sisters, brothers, let's take advantage of the days that the Lord has given us. Not to focus on the things of this world which slip through our hands like sand. But instead, to be focused on seeking the things above. Where Christ is seated at God's right hand.